this setup because it's like he knows he'll he'll be losing in terms of percentage, like 50% of the time because of his own weight. But uh, it, it's harder to edge guard Olimar. Nonetheless, he is going to try it out at the very least for this game number one of set number one grand finals. This is Void versus I'm Hip, and this is Edmund and Sedge on the mic. We're gonna get right into it. And both players just swinging at each other. Boyd getting a little bit of an early start here with his down throw combos. Yeah, down throw, of course, is always just going to be a great starter for yeah. Pichu no matter what. So you just got to think to yourself, it's like, okay, I got to start the match at around 40 to 50%. It's very similar to Sushik, actually. It's like, okay, I'll start the match at like 40%. I'll just accept yeah. it. It's, it's funny that you say it's like Sheik, because it's like, I, I also find so much similarity between Pichu and Sheik, and it's no. Uh, surprise as to why Boyd feels right at home with this pair. Yep. Oh, picks him up. I guess that purple afterwards. Oh, okay. Kind of uh, stuffing his recovery right there, forcing him to quick attack onto the stage. Uh, really excellent snipes coming out from um, Olimar, and I hit getting that forward smash with the purple Pikmin, securing that first stock. That would have killed like 20, 30 percent ago, but hey. Yeah. We'll do it now. And that's what I'm talking about. Pichu is one of those characters you want to be able to press buttons. You've got to get your combo starters. But if you put yourself in a position where you're just going to get hit by these strong hitboxes, then you can easily lose your stock very early or just in general, just guaranteed kills all around. Oh my god. Double thunder coming out from, my, uh, from Void. Neither going to connect. And he nearly loses another stock to that purple back here. Oh, he's going to, to that up smash, landing onto the stage with so much lag after that quick attack. Uh, well, he was just right, like in the perfect position, landing right in front of him. Okay. Yep. Uh, no, it was a good frame trap there. Just used that a thunder jolt and then called out any option that he was going to pick with that forward tilt. Very nice stuff. But he's still playing down a whole stock, and so, uh, as he's <laughs> continuously throwing out these attacks, he's attacking on the percent himself. I know it's not as significant anymore, but it's still a factor I consider, especially against a character like Olimar that can kill ridiculously early. And uh, Pichu's gonna need it right now, that kill power, because he's still got a whole stock between him and I'm Hip, so he's gotta find the stock, down smash, sending in the opposite direction, so I'm Hip gonna live to tail the tail another day. Alrighty, forward throw, puts him off stage. What's the head mix up gonna be? He goes high. Can he catch him in time? Yes, he does. He gets the board tilt. All of a sudden, big comeback and potential for Void. A really nice uh, pivot, cancel, uh, F tilt right there to get the extra distance and get the proper punish. And 85% on Void though, he's well within kill, kill range for uh, I'm Pippin all along. Oh! What a lead. Yep, that was very smart for I'm Hip. He had his back towards the edge of the stage so that he could tell Void, all right, I'm looking for a back here. Never mind, I'm going in and I'm gonna call out your neutral getup and I'm gonna get that up smash, long lasting hitbox, catches that one frame vulnerability and that's gonna be my first game. Absolutely, game number one for I'm Hip. Coming into this grand finals with a ton of momentum after upsetting Larry Lur in losers finals uh, in a game five set. So really heated. He, he definitely knows he has the stuff to just take it from one more top player at this tournament, cause another upset. It is gonna be a, a really steep mountain to climb. After all, if he wins this, he needs to win one more to take the whole tournament. I wouldn't be surprised if voice strategy is, let me just go all Pichu. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But yeah. I still got another set to fall I back on. That. I see that too. Just commit to it because you got that assurance that you can do another set afterwards and potentially try those characters then. But let's see if the Pichu is enough to deal with the uh, Olimar of I'm Hip's caliber specifically. All right, parry on the neutral there, there for I'm Hip. Oh my god. And I mean, that sends so far, so fast that. Not even Olimar, who has a great recovery, is going to be able to survive at that percent. Just going right into the blast zone off the down air. Void moving up a stock on this game number two. Too much. Don't do it again. Oh, oh okay. God. He's Never gone. Mind. Deleted. Only 57% on Void. And I'm hip down to this last life. Yeah. I'm hip t uh, Void telling I'm hip, hey, you may have taken a, taken a game, but uh, let me just remember who the top seed is here. Yeah. This is one of those things where uh, down tilt pickup at the ledge is so good and you just cannot let Pichu get that. If he gets that, then you're kind of dead sometimes, guaranteed, no matter what. We're going to run in with that up smash, recognizing Voids again, just uh, getting some whips here and uh, try and get the stuff where he can find them. Oh my god, all right. Armoring through the down air, which would have set up, uh, you know, it, 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 like got him out of a situation, but really just put him back into a situation where he got uh, 
caught with the up tilt again and then back to a, a, another combo. Oh. 108% here. Yeah. That was so quick too, I didn't realize he turned around to down tilt. Oh, gonna try and get that thunder confirmed. Yeah, really great air dodge coming out from my pit, knowing that was coming. Time. Still not able to find it though. Back air, did that oh do it? God, from center stage, not quite enough. I mean, he was like a little bit towards the ledge, but 156 on I'm hit right here. He's got a whole stock to make up for. Neutral air, not gonna do it. Oh. How does he get in? It's just one four tilt is all he needs basically. Yeah. Like, and he's still got another stock to work with in case it doesn't work out. Force on the ledge could definitely do it. Oh, but calls out the low recovery there. Just gets that reverse hit of the nair. That's one more. It was a really like easy edge guard for him. I mean, I feel like me, the scrub, I would have been like, oh, drop zone back here. But like that that option, I think comes out like a little bit faster. And it, at the percent that I'm hit was at, which is he was like past 150, nearing like 170. Yeah. Uh, Drop down. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> and this is one of those things. Uh, I may have the option to recover high, but I think that Void just put on too much pressure, and he yeah. was going to have the end lag too. So Void just Three, called out the next best thing, one, and then he just go. got it. So here we are, game number three, one to one in this set between these two players. Void going to try to move up 2-0 and potentially close out the set as fast as he can. Yeah, man, I'm trying to go eat. Like, uh, I need, I need to set to, I need to set to end very <laughs> soon, please. But regardless, it doesn't matter what the commentators want. What these two players want is both the W. So we're gonna have to see which rap these two take us. But quickly with that up throw, I'm hip trying to make something happen for a potential reset. And these are the kinds of leads that I'm hip wants, especially if he's gonna take this set against the player of Void's caliber. He's on a fresh stock, only 30% on his first life, and Void already down his. Halfway to kill percent on the second stock, pretty much. Boy, still trying to be on the chase. It's still not working out. And he's tacking on the, the damage extra from it, too. Oh, but picks him over the down tilt. Not able to find anything. He could have potentially gotten a jab reset, but he thought maybe he wasn't at the right distance. So the down tilt had a little bit more reach. Yeah, if anything, I mean, he was able to get the, the grab on the directional air dodge. So he punished that. Uh, but he didn't get a direct follow-up off of the down tilt. Okay, jabs on the shield, spot dodge, then latch the Pikmin, that's so much damage. He's got like two or three Pikmin on him, and a forward air with a purple. That whole hip looking like a beast on this game three. That whole sequence is very impressive. He went for the tech chase situation, didn't even go for an attack, knowing that he could attack on Pikmin and then catch him on trying to come back from disadvantage. And uh, jumping back to the stage, gets that fair, gets a second one on the platform. That was a great uh, sequence all around put together from I'm Hip. Man, Void has a lot of work to do that that down air, securing one stock, but I'm Hip still has two more. Void already at 48% on his last stock. Oh, no Pikmin available, so he didn't get that grab, unfortunate. Back air comes out. I mean, Void has been known to make comebacks potentially before. I mean, oh, definitely sure. a character can do it, but I don't know if that can potentially happen. Yep, just a quick back air, and that will be the next game going I'm Hip. I'm Hip, just one more game away from winning set number one in Grands and having an oppor a final opportunity to take out Void, defeat all of the best players here at this tournament, and crown himself the champion of Mega Smash Monday's 183, but Void still has at least one more game here to pull himself back in and then secure a Game 5 victory, and, that, and that's gonna have to be a Game 5 victory. Um, interesting enough, it's Void's counter pick throughout this, or um, actually, if, if, I'm, if he wins here, it's gonna be I'm Hip's counter pick for Game 5, so really advantageous position for I'm Hip to be in right now in this game number four. All right, going back to the smaller stage, it's kind of the same story as we saw with Larry Lair's Fox. You can go in and uh, keep up the pressure on a small stage, then uh, it can work out in his favor, but we'll just have to see. All right. Ooh. Edge play right here. I'm hit making it to the ledge. Back here. A lot of hitboxes being thrown out. The damage going both ways right now. No nobody getting anything significant started. Try to go for a jab block, but uh, I think was already ready with the tech, and uh, 
you know, of course, Jab is a very safe move for Pichu, so you can just do a quick check and then uh, continue on with your pressure, which he did right there. Oh, okay, I like the answer, meeting the back air with an up air. Really smart play from my hip there to avoid a certain death. Is he actually going to be... Oh, he tried to catch the... Last minute high recovery maybe with a jump in air, but it's not quite going to work out the way you want it. Ooh, sent him back down to the ground, not able to catch a follow-up. He's trying to get these back airs. Back airs might do the trick right now. Down air, landing hitbox, putting I'm hip off stage. Oh, no! The Pikmin actually getting a stage spike. I don't even know where that came from. I think he tossed the purple through here like immediately, and Pichu was already there. And he was just a matter of life or death at that point. Attack. Oh, but the quick forward tilt, of course, just going in, knowing that... You know, all of my black characters are gonna happen. Right down to two stocks of peace, and uh, boy, going for these aggressive edge guards. Gonna have to be really careful at any moment's notice. I'm hit to turn the tides around uh, just off of that interaction alone. Ooh, another get up attack. He'll keep himself alive here. And carrying him across the stage with those fairs. Potential opportunity, but doesn't get the dare, unfortunately. A little bit too late on it. Guardy speaks by the ledge. I'm hit back at the ledge. Get grabbed after the last roll. Ooh, what a punish from I'm hit. There's so much lag after the thunder and completely whipping from Void's part. He's gonna get a back air and up a stock. And this is game point for I'm hit. About to defeat Void in set one. Yep, that's if Void has anything to say about it. Ooh, oh yeah, like that. my god. Had the cover with the armor as well, but instead still drifted down. The portal's gonna come out and still take the stock, but still, like, 70% as Pichu. Pretty much can't make any mistakes against this type of character. Alright, grab for Pichu right here. Void, jumping over the Pikmin with the forward air. Really scary situation for both players right now. I'm Hip does not want to drop this game. Neither does this voice. Yeah. Oh! And that's gonna do it. Forward smash to catch the quick attack landing. And I'm hit, taking that first set three to one. A really, really great display coming out from I'm hip. And uh, Boyd looking unfazed. I mean, he, he knew, you know, that, that was his, his set to play with. He tried out the Pichu. Let's see if he's gonna go uh, the Wolf or maybe even the Paisy. Yeah. Oh man, I, I have to just think that maybe that agility was a misinput because he might have been trying to sweet spot ledge and then accidentally just went attack. went to, to the right side. It's not, knock, not a big deal. I need to knock that out. <laughs> <laughs> it's agility! Still going on with the Pichu, interesting. We're going to grander finals this time around, so uh, we'll see how this goes. And we're starting on Yoshi's uh, this time around. If anything, it, would, it makes way more sense that it's agility since it's not, not an attack, right? It has yeah. no hitbox <laughs> like Pikachu does. Mm -hmm. It just ups his, like, evasive. Right. Yeah. Here we go. Goes for those fairs. I mean, one of the situational things that I feel, uh, I think Pichu's like about to stage is that Pichu's so small. If you just hide in the at the ledge and just crouch, uh, very few hitboxes can actually reach that low. So this is one of those situational things that I think Pichu's like about to stage. But let's see. He's trying to keep on with that pressure. And of course, you can use those down tilts at the ledge too. Because with the slant, it makes two framing way easier. And sometimes it's not even a two frame. Sometimes it's just a hitbox before you hit the ledge. All right. 11% here on board. He gets the up throw. Trying to chase with these fares and airs. Trying to get some frame traps going. And he does with the landing on that. And he gets the forward tilt in for the first stock. I'm hit. Uh, keeping up the chase, he's got. I'm hit or void at 122%, so he's definitely gonna be able to find a kill with at least that blue Pikmin. Up throw. That's if he's even able to get his way in. Right. Oh god. Good grab not quite working out the way he wanted to. Still a decent sized lead for Void, especially on Yoshi's where this is the smallest stage available um, on the blast zones wise. <laughs> Surprised that yeah, he's been living really this long. 160, 173 now, that down tilt catching the agility. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And only 39% on uh, I'm Hip's life right here. Still a really healthy stock. He's got a lot to work with, especially considering that, that he's going to be able to survive longer, or theoretically should survive longer. We did see Pichu live to 170 just now. So. Yeah. Ooh, okay, he uses that four tilt. It does low profile Pichu a little bit, so it can help in those situations as well. And yeah, I like that. He's trying to use those down tilts again. Like I said, you can pick them up very easily and you can easily get that two frame. Ooh, okay. Catching up before he's able to even try to snap the ledge. Uh, forward tilt securing that second stock. 
avoid. Very smart. Uh, if you do uh, trip <laughs> at a very low percent with forward tilt, it is guaranteed, but you usually don't have uh, enough frames to be able to do anything. So if your opponent buffers something, uh, that's usually the smart option. Jump over it, especially the get-up attack, which is what people do, and then go in for a follow-up afterwards. 105% here on Void's second stock. I'm hip down to his last in his game number one. Grand final set two. Whoever wins this will potentially dictate the, pe the pace of the rest of the set. Oh yeah, I like that. Just doing those simple hops doesn't try to tread full distances on his full hops to try and get back down to the stage. Use these short ones to make I hit second guess of whether he's gonna land or he's gonna try and go further and make things harder for I hit to try and get the juggle. Aggressive down air right there from I'm hip, able to secure that stock. We're down to one stock apiece. Two purple Pikmin out for I'm hip. Can he make it work? All right. Let's see what his uh, next potential, though. Yellow is gone. What's he gonna pull here? A blue and a white. This is so good for I'm hip right here. And he's got the percent advantage as well. Oh, air dodge is through. Oh, guess that there as well. That blue grab is definitely online right now. It's gonna get the stock if a void is not careful. Oh man, there it is, the up throw, and I'm hip taking game number one of Grand Finals set two. He's won four games in a row now. Coming off of that first set into this one, he has got so much momentum. Void must be feeling the pressure right now. I mean, Void's one of those. Yeah. He, he, he doesn't look it, but we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. He, he internalizes it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like Larry, you know, like we said before when he was fighting heavy. He's like, you, you, you could probably tell that like he was sitting there, but he, in his head is probably screaming. It was one of those things where Void, he was trying to find something, and that's what I'm talking about. If you can't uh, get that approach option that you want, if the, either the Thunder Jolt's not a play because of like, platforms, and you can't get it uh, on the full hop or something like that, very difficult. Uh, to really outrange him, and then yeah, the pivots from Olimar are so great at getting that pivot grab. So that would be a free uh, win for sure. All right, game number two, grand final set two. I'm hip and Void again. This is Edmund and Sedge on the mic. Will we get yet another upset from I'm hip, or will Void take his rightful throne as the grand champion of tonight's MSF? Yeah, we'll see. Ooh, trying to play around each other, reading each other's roles or something. It's not quite working out there. Just gonna return back to neutral. It's like, okay, we got a little weird interaction there. Let's just go back to playing the game. Great amount of damage coming out from my pit right now. He's got a yellow Pikmin, a blue, and a white. Not quite an optimal lineup, but he's got stuff to work with at the very least. Off stage. Uh, not gonna get that coverage with that back air. Very smart for my hip to delay his upbeat just very slightly so that he can just drift back away from it before things got scary. Okay, there's the purple Pikmin toss, knocking Void away. Dash attack coming in from him. And the back air so close to the side blast zone. And considering Yoshi's Islands, blast zones are so small. Easy stock there for Void. Yeah, great kill move from Pichu all together, honestly. Especially if you can get the edge guard. Empty landing, the grab, down throw, up airs for days, man. And finish off with the forward air, putting I'm hip in an edge guard situation. Oh, trying to find something, not quite. Is he gonna get that nair to keep him off a little bit? Yeah, he tried to write a real roll or something, or a jump, I think, but uh, didn't quite find oh, it. Oh, God. That down air would have connected, that would have spelled the end of oh, I'm hip second stock. I feel like that might have actually been a scenario where the ledge worked against him that time because he had more time to go for that full hop and then I'm hip was already drifting back down. But he's able yeah. to get around that. Very true. And double purple pull for I'm hip right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just stood there and grabbed, okay, sure. Yeah. Calling out the neutral getup. Um, does have the range for it. It gra they, uh, grabs for Omar pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it works because Pikmin travel on the ground, so it doesn't have to worry about range or anything like that. It'll just go forward and uh, continue on. Oof. All right, there's the back end. Okay, great chase with the offstage forward air, catching the edge guard, and Void still uh, convincingly in this lead with 84% on the second stock. I'm hit, taking a lot of damage on his last life now, 44% to be exact. 
Oh, Ooh, okay. Unfortunate, yeah. Oh. If you hit the wall early Dude. and then if you think that, or if you think yeah. that uh, you thought you were going to come back, you don't press the direction in time. That sucks. I'm thinking back to, to uh, the set with Master Mario, man. Oh, yeah. Where Master Mario messed that up, two, up 2-0. Two oh. I mean, Boyd's down here, but he, he, he was winning in, in, by a considerable amount in, on that stock, at least. Now that he's dropped it to himself, will I'm him to capitalize and take the game? Yeah, we'll have to see. Very scary situation to be in Pichu with the edge guard advantage. Oh, that yeah. probably be it, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that uh, I'm Hip didn't decide to just uh, let go of the purple Pikmin he had. It was weighing him down. If he had tossed that purple Pikmin, he may have actually just been able to like maneuver around the uh, potential hitboxes faster. But it would have been like, all around. It's still a really like bad position. <laughs> <laughs> he, he probably would have like missed that back air, and then like Boyd would have just covered him with something else, you know, landing Care on the stage. Care with a lot of lag. <laughs> Careflex is playing with Boyd's hair, like with the camera, <laughs> just like making it pop out. Every time, I, every time it cuts to Boyd, I feel like his hair is like progressively poofier. poofier. Yeah, <laughs> dude, it is, dude. That's like, he's a super saiyan, dog. He, of course, dude. This is game number three, set two of grand finals. Boyd is getting progressively in the zone, and as he does so, so does his fro. And now we're getting into it. Battlefield for game number three, Boyd versus I'm Hip. Uh, this is going to be a uh, yeah, interesting uh, counter pick from I'm Hit. I, I, so, right? I, I would have figured that like Pichu likes this stage just because of the potential platform extensions that he can get. Uh, but I guess hiding below the platforms is going to be a, a good uh, way to also pressure it, uh, Pichu while he's on the platforms, right? He can harass the up airs and the up smash. Boy probably banned like the super wide stage or something yeah. like that, so maybe he thought, okay, let's, let's just try this one and see if it works. All right, up air right here. Prime hit is uh, taking a considerable amount of damage, but so has Void. Ooh. Not quite finding anything. Get okay, that neutral air. Okay, he's just kind of spamming forward tilt by the ledge. Void going into incredibly fast option. What the heck was that? He got a thunder jolt into... Did he actually manage to land on the stage and get a forward tilt? Yeah. That was nuts. Ooh, and <laughs> oh very God. early stock right Hello, there. Thunder dude. will even send the, you. Even the crowd is popping up. They were like, what? Hello? Yeah. This is blinked and all of a sudden that second stock was gone. <laughs> gone. But yeah, Thunder is a very good move from Pichu because it doesn't matter the positioning. Disgusting. It'll always send you in the direction that you're facing. Yeah. Disgusting. Yeah, absolutely gross. I don't know why they decided <laughs> to do that. I don't know why same, they made frame... Same thing with this down smash. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why they made his uh, F-Tilt frame 5 either. <laughs> like, I don't know why it's so fast <laughs> and kills it either. But you know what? It's working out for Void. And he's using that. And he's instead of uh, sitting back, he's tacking on the pressure again and getting that because he knows that if he gives, I hit that space that he wants, then the comeback becomes even more possible. Yeah, and I hit finally able to take the stock right there, but it's not even gonna matter because Void with the offstage Poggers plays, he gets the drag down Thunder into the strongest hitbox that can knock you off anyone into this blast zone. Yeah. And Void up 2-1 now in the set. Run off up air, fastball Ooh, into Thunder ah, is such a good so tool. Good. If you can't get the down at the ledge, just go off and take him with you. Very nice stuff. Yeah, very quick game. That's got to be a potential momentum killer for I'm Hip if I've ever seen one. For sure, dude. I mean, like, even if it wasn't just, like, the, the that last stock alone, I mean, he had, you saw how fast Void obliterated those first two stocks. I mean, it was like a minute. So, tons of momentum coming from Void right now. You can see he's super hyper-focused. Yeah. He's not quite Genesis 6 focused. Yeah. Like, like you can tell usually by the how uh, how wide his eyes are. It's almost there though. Yeah, <laughs> he, he doesn't look sleepy. He <laughs> definitely looks awake. It's his, it's, rest. It's his oh advantage. God. It's uh, 12:46. Yeah. He's usually awake at this time. <laughs> <laughs> He's streaming right about now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but here we go. Under two percent already. I mean, I'm hip. He's got an even wider stage to work with, so I feel like he's able to play at his tempo and not deal with Pichu's burst options as much. He's able to take on that damage, and now all of a sudden that momentum looks like it's starting to come back to I'm hip. He's keeping his cool. He gets that up smash and he gets that first stock very quickly, under yeah. a minute. And only forty percent onto I'm hip right here. GSM Void uh, getting a little bit back. Seventy-five percent now on I'm hip. Okay, with grab. Ooh, I like the call out from I'm hit, knowing that 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 Boyd would opt for the defensive spot dodge and charging his forward smash instead to get the hit in. Yep, jab jab from 
I, or excuse me, from Olimar, yeah, is yeah. Nev never really a true combo into anything. Wow, that bear covered so much distance. Anyways, it won't ever be a true combo, so you usually have to call out that they're going to hold shield or that they're going to spot dodge, and I hit, picked the right option there. Yeah. Yeah, it does lead into, like, grabs a lot of the time, too, especially at the lower percents, just mostly because, like, people will, like, fall out of it, uh, not react to it, or just, like, roll out and they pop right out, too. Still, I'm hit. Uh, still solid lead on this second stock. Two stocks apiece. Yeah. Oh, he uses the Pikmin to protect with the Thunder Jolt, but another big potential combo starter. Yeah, down throw fair, or down throw up air into fair. Really good stuff to teach you. It's a try to do the combo. Oh, oh, God. No lightning loop into a portal that time around. That would have been a nasty setup. I mean, he got the, like, the, the uh, drag down, down air into the F tilt. Like, nasty. Yeah. Right, he's not quite fighting it. Okay, the forward tilt, yeah, he's the recognizer is going to stay at the ledge for a little bit too long, drifting back down, already enough space for the forward tilt to connect. And here we go, I'm hit on his last life, Floyd on game point. This is our last stocks for both players, a potential last stock for the entire tournament if Void is able to do this. He's taking a lot of damage though, I'm hit playing it just right. Latching a lot of Pikmin for this extra damage. Oh, the drag down, not going to get that forward tilt, but still. Picking on the damage. Yeah. Not only do these uh, Pikmin latches uh, deal extra percentage, but it also takes the attention away from what's really going on. Void having to focus on getting rid of the Pikmin. I'm hit can start to set up his game plan, his next two or three moves. Well, he's doing oh. a double jump to try and bait out something from I'm hit, either like a pivot or something. It's not quite working out, but still oh 60%. God. The single purple Pikmin. He's able to pluck two more, but man, if he was able to close out the game with just one Pikmin, nuts. Blue Pikmin in line now. It's up next. Can he get a pivot throw? Ooh, he's looking for it. Right outside. Oh, the oh dare. Just that dare. Ooh. Oh, coming to that forward smash, but I'm hit. I was already in the air. That's a very great risk, actually, from Void. But he's going to get that bear. It doesn't quite connect it, though. Up throw. Thunder. Oh, my God. Unbelievable comeback from Void just now. He